Even buses need their Java. Waste Coffee Grounds will be powering London's buses as the city finds newer and cleaner ways to run its public transport system. Clean technology company BioBean has created a new biofuel by blending oil extracted from used coffee grounds with B20 biodiesel. The firm estimates that it would take just 2.55 million cups of coffee to create enough of the biofuel to power a London bus for an entire year. So far, BioBean has produced 6,000 liters of coffee oil for its pilot project with Shell and Transport for London. Many of the city's buses are already running on biofuel made from waste such as cooking oil or beef to reduce emissions, but this is the first time a coffee-derived fuel is being introduced. Londoners reportedly produce about 200,000 tons of coffee waste a year, and most end up in landfills where they emit harmful methane gas. The new initiative is not only beneficial to the environment, but also convenient for buses, which don't need to be modified to use the fuel. Here's what to do with your waste. First UK bus to run on human poo hits the road. The UK's first poo bus started shuttling passengers between Bath and the nearby airport this Thursday. The 40-seat biobus runs on biomethane gas generated by treating human sewage and food waste. Through an anaerobic process, bacteria break down the waste material to produce methane and other gases. Carbon dioxide is extracted from the methane, and the methane is added to propane to produce fuel, which is stored in the roof of the bus. A full tank is generated from the waste that around five people produce in one year. The bus can travel up to 300 kilometers before it needs to refuel. It now operates as a shuttle service between Bath and Bristol Airport. The bus runs on a combustion engine similar to those found on conventional diesel buses, but emits up to 30% less carbon dioxide. Cameroon turns human waste into clean power. Two towns in Cameroon are installing biogas systems to turn human waste into sustainable energy that can provide fuel and electricity for local communities. Organic material such as animal waste is placed inside an airtight tank where bacteria and archaea break down the material. This releases biogas, which is a byproduct that is a mixture of mostly methane with some carbon dioxide. The biogas can be stored and burned as a fuel for cooking and to power electricity generators, while the rest of the waste can be used as fertilizer. The biogas system installed in Cameroon connects a septic tank to biodigesters linked to individual households. Human waste placed in the septic tank is converted into biogas by the biodigesters, and this releases energy into people's homes. More than 3,000 households and local schools in two towns have reportedly installed the biogas system. It is estimated that the project may reduce greenhouse gas emissions in the vicinity by up to 60%. The project was initiated by Bioenergy Cameroon, a non-governmental youth organization. The group trains local students, especially female students, on how innovative technology like solar power and biogas work. Netherlands set to spend 150 million euros on biogas production. The Netherlands has found a use for their cows other than pumping milk, turning their manure into energy. Manure processing is important to the Netherlands, as about 10% of the country's greenhouse gas emissions come from agriculture, mostly methane from animal manure. The International Dairy Federation says the nation's livestock produces about 74 million tons of manure a year, which is too much to be directly applied to farmland as fertilizer. The excessive amount of nutrients could leak into underground water, resulting in algae growth and pollution to nearby water sources. To solve this problem, officials have implemented an experiment at one farm. Cow manure is put through an anaerobic digester, where exposure to bacteria transforms solid manure into liquid form. The resulting substance then releases biogas that is made mostly of methane and carbon dioxide. The biogas can be used as fuel, while any leftover manure can be used as fertilizer. This experiment reportedly generated 9,342 kilowatt hours of electricity in 20 days, which is enough to power three homes for a year. The Dutch government has committed to investing 150 million euros to the biogas program, which aims to get a thousand large farms across the country to produce energy from cow manure within four years.